going in for the landing. We got leader. Joey here and if you remember from a few videos ago we had an absolutely insane day of uh, fishing the inlet for snook and reds with my buddy Luke. This is the video that we did the Olakai uh, sandal giveaway and we went ahead and picked the winner of that and that's announced in the description of that video. Um, anyways this is part two. When we left off Luke was about to try to tackle a giant fish on the push button rod and here's a little teaser of what happened in that video. We're gonna see what we can make happen with this thing. Adjusted my grip on it. We got the leader. So there'll be a link in the description to that video. If you miss it, you can go back and check it out. Um, but now we're gonna get into the rest of the footage because it was just so many fish, it was too much for one video. So right now we're gonna go ahead and pick up where the other video left off and keep it going for you. All right, just go easy with them. You gotta go. <laughs> All right, we gotta go, we gotta go. Luke's on, Luke's on. All right, stay down, stay down. We don't want him to get spooled. No, 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 no. I'm telling you, you gotta put pressure on the reel. Nope, it's not going. Is it going now? Nope. Not at all? Nope. You're, you're hitting the button with your hand, is what what's happening. So hold it all the way down lower on the rod, like a, a pistol grip. Luke's, Luke's learning. Bro, this is, is it taking line? Is, is it reeling in? Yeah, barely. I think it got jacked up on that run. Is he still there? I don't know. There's, doesn't look like he's still there. I think he is. He's just not reeling. Yeah, he's there. He's still there. All right. Just keep going easy. Nope. He's gone? He's still there, but this isn't, it's not real. Let me see it. There we go. Nope. There you go. Leave the drag like that. <laughs> I would hold the rod all the way at the base. <laughs> it's just not real on the line. You must have a snook because it keeps changing directions. There you go. Hold it like that. Oh, because whenever he runs, it kicks the drag back. What in the world are you doing to that thing? <laughs> no, really. Is it reeling line? No, it's spinning, but it's not taking the line. Oh, Luke. He's got a hand line it because we broke the rod. He's got braid hand lining, not what you want to do. But can't leave this attached to the fish. No, we gotta get it in, otherwise that fish is gonna have all that line and that'd be very irresponsible fishing. Pass me that big old chunk of line in your left hand. There you go. I'll keep extra line in here. Just remember, let them, you gotta let them run, you can let them run because we got the line in here now. I'll keep it kind of clean as I can. Sebastian, or we we're hand line, dog. We're doing this. so. This is our third third form hand got, line with got, no yo yo. Got some snooters. Oh, he broke off. Oh, broke us off right there. That's all right. He probably just popped the leader, freighted it off. <laughs> uh, get that line back. Fish on this. I give it to Luke one time. He blows it up. <laughs> and look at that. He's going right for more bait. We'll make a couple more fish happen, then we'll head in. Get him, Lukey. Luke's on again. Dude, he's got a solid fish here. Very solid fish. You gotta have a red. I wouldn't be mad. 
getting them in now. There he is, he's right over there. We're gonna see him here in a sec. Right, be right behind us. Oh, we well, if it was a snapper, I think he'd be straight down. Looking redfish like to me. But you never know. Stranger things have happened. Oh, oh Mac Daddy Snook. Look at that beast. Here, I'll get your rod. He's barely hooked on the outside of the mouth. Beautiful snook. Christine. Yeah, that one fought. It might need to save him a little bit of energy. Oh, he's, he's kicking. <laughs> he's chopping. Goodness. <laughs> you ready? Yep. Ooh. Send him off. You're getting your hand bit off by a bull shark. Thousand likes on this video. Just give him a good push, he'll go. Back down to the deep. Did you have fun today, Luke? There we go, there we go. Little rods on. That feels like a snook and a half. Tighten up a little bit on him, but we only got 10 pound braid on this one. Smoking it. Squished up. Catching them on everything today. Big rods, little rods, hand lines, yo yo's. Well, wait, what was it? Spider Man, yeah. Spider Man rod. That was it. All right. Getting them turned. I think we got us a nice snook on here. Could be a keeper. Could be a keeper snook. This is another rod I like to use, guys. It is the. Tsunami Evic 2000. It's my little light reel. I love this thing for jigging, pompano jigging or something like that. But you can see it holds up good to bigger fish too. The rods, the Tsunami Carbon Shield 2, 7 foot, 8 to 15 pound. Or this might be the 7.6. I don't remember. Yeah, 7.6. Oh, he's dogging it. He's dogging it. Get on another, had to keep my hair out of my eyes. All right, going in for the landing. We got leader. Woo! I don't know, being a goof. Let's get this hook out of him. That's what we need to do. Looks right there in the corner. Absolute beautiful snook. Shoot him back down. So there she is, the meat wagon. Now we got a lot of fish today, it was a lot of fun. I'm sure Luke had a lot of fun too. And I gotta say, RIP, Spidey Rod is done. So there's part two. You guys can tell if you put those two videos together, we had an absolutely insane day out there and there was countless fish caught that weren't even in the videos. Uh, just a really, really, really good time. So this is the part of the video where I'm gonna show you the, the tackle I'm using or the rod and reel I'm using. In this video, I was using the Tsunami Evic 2000. This is a very, very lightweight, very smooth reel. Um, I like using it a lot of times. It's just something super fun to catch the fish on. Really good inshore reel, but as you can see, it definitely holds up to the bigger fish as well. The rod is the Tsunami Carbon Shield 2. This is the 7 foot 6 model with 8 to 15 pound. So, really lightweight setup, but it holds its own. Very strong. I like it. So thanks a lot for watching guys. Check out the website jantogear.com. You can see my shirts, hats, stickers, all that stuff on there. And as always, we will see you in the next video. Later.